how do you know if AI engineering is the right path for you? So in this video, let's simplify the complexity of choosing your career path. I'm going to break it into three easy steps, whether or not you want to pursue AI engineering or software engineering, web development. The reason why you can't decide right now is probably because you don't actually know. Hey what... there, today we're going to tackle a question that I've been getting a ton lately. And the question is, how do you know if AI engineering is the right path for you. I get it. The future is full of uncertainties and it can be really stressful figuring out your perfect career path. But I gotta ask you to please stop asking me what programming languages you should be learning or what projects that you should be building next because those are not the correct questions that you should be asking. And today, I'll guide you through the right questions that you should be asking. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jean, your trusted engineering mentor. And with 20 plus years of coding experience, including being an early engineer at WhatsApp, which was acquired by Facebook, now Meta, for $19 million, I'm here to share my experience working as a software engineer and also to help you find a fulfilling career for yourself. So in this video, let's simplify the complexity of choosing your career path have. I'm going to break it into three easy steps. But before we dive in, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to let it know that you're into topics like this. And I would really appreciate that. So with that, let's dive into tip number one, focus on the daily functions. I often see a lot of software engineers eyes just light up when we talk about becoming an AI engineer, especially with those fat paychecks. But I want you to start thinking less about the titles and more about what you will actually be doing on a day-to-day -day basis as an engineer or an AI engineer. Knowing what salary you want is certainly really important, especially when it comes to job negotiation. But most tech jobs pay pretty well and building your dream career goes beyond just having your target salary. So instead of fixating on the titles, reflect on the practical aspects. For example, if I were an engineer, what specific tasks will bring me joy? To get into more of the details, here is tip number two, finding your ideal future self. I want you to sort of close your eyes I know it's unconventional to maybe close your eyes while you're watching a YouTube video, but I really want you to hone in to thinking about your future self. So close your eyes for a moment, and I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Imagine yourself 10 years from now. Can you picture what industry you're part of? Can you imagine the company that you work for? What kind of environment is this company? And what type of people are you working with? What makes your future self stand out from other people? And what kind of responsibilities are you handling with ease? So now you can open your eyes. So note down the examples of tasks that your future self might love doing. It's kind of hard to know what you will actually be doing 10 years from now, especially if you don't have a lot of experience or exposure working in a real tech company. So you can try to connect with real engineers in the industry, learn what excites them about their job and what challenges are they facing on a day-to-day -day basis. But really the best way to experience it is to try it out for yourself, which is my tip number three, start exploring and gaining experience. And I don't mean gain more experience by taking more classes or building more projects. Those things will help you learn the craft of engineering, but they don't show you how real life work is going to be like. So gaining experiences through internships or part-time jobs or consulting roles are all great ways to experience what it could be like to work as an AI engineer Ideally, it's best to get paid gigs, but if you can't find any, start by volunteering or working on free open source projects or whatever you can get your hands on. And once you start experiencing these, think about, you know, which of the tasks you really enjoy doing. Is it coding or debugging or learning new technology, teaching or collaborating with other people or talking about the tech that you're building? All of these are tasks that you might be involved with as an AI engineer or a software engineer. As a teenager myself, I was personally interested in both art um, and engineering. I was always pretty creative and I wasn't really sure which route to go. So I took classes in both 
I also had internships in both. I was really drawn to engineering because I like logic, and I've worked at small startups and large corporations like IBM, learning the pros and cons of different environments. Now that I no longer have to work for money, luckily, I find joy in sharing my experience and knowledge on YouTube. So your career paths may change over time. You can work for different companies. You can work for different types of environment, working on different types of projects or tasks. So start thinking about all of these details because that's going to really help you make a decision whether or not you want to pursue AI engineering or software engineering, web development. The reason why you can't decide right now is probably because you don't actually know what it means to work as an AI engineer. There's that famous quote from Steve Jobs saying, while connecting the dots, looking back is straightforward. The challenge is connecting them, looking forward. So if your current career path doesn't completely fulfill you, that's okay. The key is to think big, envision your future. In term future, I know 10 years might sound like a long time, but I've been working since 2007, and trust me, time goes by so quickly. So I want you to start thinking in five, 10 year terms and take the small steps necessary to get you there. Career is more of a journey, not a destination. So as you explore, collect the data on what interests you, stay open to changes and new opportunities. So if if there's anything about this video that I want you to take away, I really want you to start trying things out for yourself to really understand what are the things that you like, what are the things that you don't enjoy. That information is going to help you find your destiny and find your path. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithms. And if you want to learn more about what a day in the life of a software engineer, check out my take on the day in the life of a software engineering video right here. Otherwise, YouTube algorithm thinks this is what you should watch next. I'll see you there. Bye.